rotating faces we're going to go up to the solid editing uh, panel and we're going to go to rotate faces it'll ask us to select the face I can either hold my control key down or I can go up to my filter and choose face I'm going to pick this front face then I'm going to hit enter now the default method is two points so uh, we have many other different options but two points is the most popular and so we're going to define the hinge here of this face in which it will rotate so I'm going to come down and I'm going to do a shift right click and I'm going to pick on an end point and I'll pick on this end point I'll do a shift right click and do an end point and I'll grab over here on this end point I'll key in a positive number when I key in a positive number it rotates it forward all right I'm going to undo that. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come up to rotate faces. I'm going to hold the control key down, pick the face, hit enter. I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose the same two points, the end point and then the other end point. And I'm going to choose a negative 30 this time. So this time I'll say negative 30 and it's going to pitch back the other direction. Now, let's reverse this for a minute. I'm going to undo this. This time I'm going to go up and I'm going to say rotate faces. This time I'll use the filter. I'll pick on the face. Now, this time, instead of picking over here first and then picking here second, I'll do it the other way. I'll pick this first. So I'm going to shift right click, say end point, Shift right click and say end point. I'm going to key in a rotation angle. I'll do 30 degrees. And this time it flipped back the other way, the opposite direction than we did before. Because uh, it was based on the direction of those picking of those points. So you can see how you pick your points matters. And essentially a positive rotation angle moves it in the clockwise direction and then count a negative goes in a counterclockwise direction so a positive number is in the clockwise direction so I'm going to undo this so keep that in mind now so when we originally did it we came up here and said I want to rotate I'm going to hold the control key down pick that face I'm going to pick on these two points so I'm going to pick on this one first and then I'm going to pick on this one second. So based on that, I'm going to go in the positive direction when I, oop, uh, I blew that, sorry, accidentally wrong pick here. Uh, one more time, rotate the face, I'll grab that face, and I'll do a end point, and I'll do an end point. Now, in this case, a positive number is clockwise. So I am going clockwise or towards my right. So I'll put in 30 degrees and it rotates the object clockwise. I hit enter to exit, hit enter to exit, and I'm done rotating my face. So the key component here is that we pick one face, we pick the hinge. Uh, method usually by the two-point method we have a couple other options the axis by object line the circle like arc ellipse and polyline spline uh, we could use but usually two points and then a positive number goes in a clockwise direction so that's how we rotate faces with our solid model